Hello, vinyl community, and welcome, YouTubers from everywhere. Back on Black Friday Record Store Day, my friend, our friend, Frank, over at 33RPM, uh, I'll get his channel a link down below, and I'll get the, the name correct in case I misstated it there. Uh, the record companies have started showing, sending him some records to show, and hey, this is good news. Some of the record companies have finally figured out that the vinyl community might be a good place to do a little promotion, a little advertising, show off a few records. And uh, he was showing some of the new stuff sent to him by Craft Recordings, which were Black uh, Friday record store day items. And they said, hey, have a contest and we'll give a set away to the winner. And uh, I think that was good marketing. And not only that, I was lucky for her at least once. He had the contest, he drew a name, and after a week, uh, the winner didn't uh, follow up, didn't contact him. So he drew another winner, and the winner was me, and thank you to the vinyl community. Now, uh, I got messages from three or four different people, and I don't remember which one, so I apologize, but thank you, vinyl community. They said, hey, Rich, you won that contest. Get over there quick, and I did. And uh, just before Christmas, I got the records, and I'm going to show you the records quickly and talk about them just a little bit. And I want to thank Frank on his... Uh, channel and I want to thank Craft Recordings which is a subsidiary of uh, Concord Records and I think they're probably a subsidiary someplace. Now this was the first one. I bought this on Black Friday and I showed it and this is Jazz Dispensary Purple Funk 2 limited edition pressing. Now all of these were limited edition a few of them I happened to note down what the edition was and this was a good record uh, comes in a nice inner sleeve this is my record that record is still sealed because uh, I already had that record it comes on some colored vinyl and uh, it's a white with a little bit of purple uh, marbling in it and I think some of them uh, get a, a little more color so you know everyone is unique and uh, so that record and the next record which I bought this was actually at the top of my want list on the Black Friday this one's still sealed uh, so two LPs uh, singles compilation from the original Kraft Recordings, late 50s, early 60s, New Orleans label. I don't know where, whether that's the Kraft Recordings that's part of Concord now. Originally started, this is called Bayou Funk. And it's limited to 1,750 copies, so fairly limited. Uh, featuring a music professor, long hair, Irma Tom, Thomas, he, Eddie Bowe, Al Johnson. Uh, so, I've got the extra sealed copy of those two records. Now, for more records, another thing I'll state here after getting these records, uh, winning the prize, these craft recording things uh, are all excellent and if you just see any of them and pick them up you're going to be happy the next one in that group and I didn't have any Violet Femmes and that was one I'm aware of and I was interested in getting we got a double LP here limited to 2500 copies coke bottle clear vinyl and first time on vinyl so man I was I saw this at the record store day and almost picked it up and I saw this one I just picked up too many records that day because my store wasn't that busy it made the grab and stuff easy collective soul hints allegations and things left unusual 
Uh, this is 3,000 limited, first time on vinyl. This uh, group from uh, rig record originally 93 on beautiful red vinyl. And uh, uh, I uh, pre at least previewed all of these records except one, which will be the last one. And now here's one. How did I miss this thing on Record Store Day? Okay. Lacquer Cut by Kevin Gray. Pressed at Memphis Record Sonics. Outstanding Sonics. Originally issued in 1968. Psych Rock. 50th anniversary of the band's lone album. Featuring a pre Almond Brothers with Butch Trucks, 180 gram, so forth. Uh, man, the 31st of February, originally a Vanguard recording. I was lucky all over again that this record was included in that batch. And uh, the one I haven't uh, previewed or listened to yet, I uh, haven't found any tracks anywhere. I haven't opened the record. I have opened the record because <laughs> it's in some gorgeous hot reddish pink vinyl. Uh, this record mastered by Kevin Gray and pressed at RTI on that red vinyl. This is what we'd call cool jazz, a swinging compilation of festive classics from the prestige, contemporary, and debut vaults with Dexter Gordon, Bill Smith, Paul Blay, Bobby Timmons, Red Garland, Eddie Lockjaw Davis, and others. Uh, by the time I got around to doing anything with these records, it was so busy during the holidays, I just barely got them before Christmas. Uh, Christmas was over, so I haven't listened to that one yet. So uh, I think everybody in the vinyl community knows Frank, and if you don't, check out his link down below. And uh, there's just one more little bit to this uh, video because the record record companies are starting to pay attention, and uh, we're all lucky with that. Well, I was checking out Frank's channel again. Uh, here three or four weeks ago in an outfit called Run Out Groove Records. Now I forget who they're a subsidiary of. They're doing limited edition reissues of stuff that needs to be reissued or was never reissued. And of the four records that he showed that was sent to him was this record. Betty LeVette, the 1972 Muscle Shoals Sessions. Okay, never heard of Betty LeVette, but uh, anything from the late 60s, early 70s that was done at Muscle Shoals, I'm in. I'll take that record. And uh, kind of a rhythm and blues and soul. And so I checked this record out, and I ordered it. Okay, this record is limited to 2,310 copies, and I got number 1,367. Uh, did a little research on her. This was on Atco, and these were, were tapes that were done and never issued, if you can imagine. This record is outstanding. I love this record. They had those and never issued them, and so the run-out group got this together. Now, when you read about Betty LeVette, she was quite interesting. She had a long career, I, I guess you could say successful, but it talked about early on, um, you know, you got Aretha and some of these other girls, and they're getting all of the attention, and Betty just kind of got left in the dust, and uh, if this record's still available, pick it up, run out Groove Records, I don't even remember where I ordered it, uh, these are good pressings, good sonics, and uh, come with a nice sleeve. I didn't check to see where it was pressed. But I looked at, I like that so good, I checked out her catalog. She's got a few records and was performing way on up there with some CDs. And so I found this record I was able to pick up. 
Still sealed. Off of Discogs, Betty Levette, The Scene of the Crime. This record was 2007. Rhythm and Blues and Soul has MP3. I haven't even opened this one up yet, but I have listened on YouTube. 180 gram vinyl. Um, and uh, one thing I got to say, if you just heard this one or you just heard that one and then somebody played them, you might say, well, who are those girls? Well, this Betty Levette is... 35 years later than this Betty LeVette, and uh, she's still an excellent singer, uh, very enjoyable. She doesn't sound the same as she did when she was young, but uh, if anything, maybe we can say uh, she's got a little more character in her voice. So run out Groove Records doing stuff that needs to be issued, reissued, limited edition, they were sending stuff over there to Frank to show on his channel, and uh, some of these record companies that have finally figured out where it's out, uh, support them if we can. Hey, uh, back there on the floor, you see a cable laying out there. I got uh, a big discount on a pretty good uh, quality new speaker cable and uh, I'm going to give that thing a try. I may or may not give a review on it but uh, we're off to the new year here and we're having lots of fun and if you haven't already been over there get over there you know wherever that link is to Frank's channel and check him out and thank you and keep them spinning and see you all down the trail.